young and naive children neglected and forced to the streets, wandering in search of food and daily subsistence. In groups, they target motor parks and other spots possible to get arms, ignoring all forms of danger. While some others hawk all day, away from school too, to augment family income. Obviously, they are victims of gross violation of the State Child Rights Law 2005. To guarantee their safety, Governor Abdullahi Sule signs the Child Rights Protection Executive Order, which ushers the full implementation of the State Child Rights Law 2005. The ban on street begging is the focus. What the national state government is against is the street begging where these children given birth by their parents are taken to a Sangaya scholar, abandoned there without any means of livelihood. There are 63,356 children, 40,000 from the state and 23,356 from neighboring states neglected here without adequate provisions for their needs in the guise of acquiring informal education. That explains government's desire to eradicate the menace. As it is right now, the one that is more in focus is the child street begging under the pretext of our majority system. And that's, one, that's why it looks as if um, the executive order is specifically addressing that aspect of the, of the law. Henceforth, children from other states below the age of 10 will be returned, and those from the state below 10 will also not leave the state. Very soon, we'll have all our kids off the street, and we'll follow it up logically to see that any Islamic um, organization or Sangaya that um, goes against that, government will deal with it decisively.